Who are you? Who are you? Speak out in Jesus' name. Speak out in Jesus' name. Who are you? Who's in this body? Speak clearly. In Jesus' name. Who are you? Fire of the Holy Spirit against you. Fire of the Holy Spirit against you. Who are you? Who are you? What have you done to this woman? What have you done to this woman? I want to keep her alone. Alone. You want to keep her alone? Yeah. Why do you want to keep her alone? Who are you? Who are you? Snake. Snake. How did you enter her body? You spirit of snake. When she was young. When she was young? Yes. What have you done to her? What destruction did you do in her life? Spirit of snake, speak out. Speak out in Jesus' name. Speak out in Jesus' mighty name, you spirit of snake. I just push people away. You push people away. She just has to be alone. She's mine. Not sharing. What have you done to her health? You spirit of snake. What have you done to her health? Fibroids. You gave her fibroids. Who is responsible for fibroids? Me. You are responsible. Me. Spirit of snake. What kingdom do you belong to? Light or darkness? Snake. You belong to water. Which kingdom is that? Light or darkness? Dark. It's dark. Yes. Who else is in this body? Snake. Who else is in this body? Just fibroids. We've tried to do other things. Oh, we can. She's praying. How does prayer affect you, spirit of snake? Torments us. Prayer torments you. Torments. 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 You made a great mistake by allowing her to come into this place. Because today is the day of her deliverance. And today is the day where every part of her in Jesus' mighty name, that snake, your time has expired. And I, I command you right now in Jesus' mighty name, out of her body. Out of her body, you spirit of snake, out, 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 out in Jesus' name, out in the name of Jesus, out in Jesus' name, out in Jesus' name, out, out of her body, out of her system, out of her fluid, out in Jesus' name, you fire of the Holy Spirit, out in Jesus' name, out in Jesus' name, out, 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 out in Jesus' name, out of her system, out of her body. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of snake. Out in Jesus name. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire on your head. Fire on your hands. Fire on your feet. In Jesus mighty name. Out in Jesus name. Everywhere you're hiding. Right now. Your time has expired. Jesus is greater than you. Out in Jesus name. Every place where you're hiding right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You snake. Your time has expired. Out in Jesus name. Out in Jesus name. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Let her go. Let her go. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her system. Out of her body. In Jesus' name. Out of her body. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Your time has expired. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Leave right now. Leave right now in Jesus' name. Leave right now in Jesus' name. Leave in Jesus' mighty name. Let her go. Loose her right now in Jesus' mighty name. Loose her in Jesus' mighty name. Loose her in Jesus' mighty name. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Consume every trace of you. Every light trace of light of God right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ. We send the light of God right now into her body. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. We declare you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's just raise, raise her up. You said that you were a snake just a little bit ago. Huh? No, I'm not a snake. You're not a snake. The evil spirit that spoke through you. It's been expelled and you are delivered today by the name of Jesus Christ. So thank you, Jesus. Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you begin by telling us your name and where you're from? My name is Yvonne Bocart and I'm from Vancouver, Washington.
And can you tell us what is the reason that brought you here today to receive prayer with the anointing water? I came here for healing and deliverance. And what can you say uh, that made you think you needed to come here for healing and for deliverance? I was having uh, evil attacks, like fibroids and um, having bad dreams of spirit husbands and dogs chasing me, snakes. It's just um, different kind of things and swimming in water, rivers or swimming pools, just eating in my sleep, different kinds of what I consider horrible dreams. And how has this evil spirit affected your health? Uh, well, the fibroids, I would say, and um, been procrastinating. I'll start something and I'll just be, you know, keep holding it off. And also the fibroids would sometimes just be really painful and make it unbearable for me to do stuff. So how long did you have these fibroids for? Well, what I know, I probably m must have had them for a while because before I just used to experience pain and I just ignored it and thought it was nothing. But finally, last year, I decided to go and see a doctor, my doctor, and find out what was going on. And then he told me that it was fibroids. And can you tell us, how has this evil spirit affected your relationships? Um... I would say I don't, I get bored easily. I don't keep relationships for a long time with people. Um, I guess right now I would probably call myself a loner. I like spending time alone, and that is not normal for a normal person to be spending time alone at home. And can you tell us how has this evil spirit affected your finances? Um, I spent... I've been spending a lot of money. It just, it comes and it goes, it comes and it goes. It just buying useless things that I don't need. So it, it, that itself is a blow when you're spending money to get things that you don't need and then you start running low on fans because you're overspending. Uh, and can you tell us how has this evil spirit also affected your family? Um, I, I feel like the same things that I, I've been going through my family members have been going through the same thing and I'm I prayed today when I came to church I prayed for them and I'm believing that they've been delivered through me being delivered they've been delivered too and can you tell us what happened to you today as you received that prayer with the anointing water um, I know I was told and I can remember vaguely that I manifested some sort of stuff, and I would have to wait to watch the video, but I know something happened. I can't remember much of it, but I'm looking forward to watching the video of my past. So you're saying that, y that you don't remember anything that was happening to you as you were receiving that prayer? Vaguely, and I'm afraid that if I started to narrate it, I'd probably say things that, you know, are not true, but because I don't, I don't really... I know something happened, but I just can't phrase it. I can't say it. Was it you was the one that was speaking or something else speaking outside of you? <laughs> Definitely not me because I remember most of the stuff that I say. So if I say it, I would have remembered it. And if I say it today, I don't think that's a long time for me to forget something. Do you believe that you have been healed and delivered today as you received that prayer with the anointing water? Yes, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, because I feel lighter now. I feel um, encouraged. I feel change. Amen. Well, we believe that Jesus Christ has healed you and delivered you from this evil spirit that had caused fibroids in your life. So we want to encourage you today to make God's word the standard for your life, that this healing and deliverance may remain permanent in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.